What's up, my hitters? Whoa. Got the Squid Industries Tsunami here today. And um, just kind of flapping at it, just uh, letting everybody know that sometimes you gotta get out, you gotta whip out the grail just to let the uh, haters know that your shit's real. So, got the tsunami out. Oh shit. There goes $90 worth of value. People on Battle Song Sale are done with it now. <laughs> All right, but no, um, today's video, I wanted to talk about a uh, little thing that I saw that I thought was kind of funny. Uh, warning. Boomer opinions incoming. Please refrain from calling me a boomer in the comments. Actually, don't. Just don't refrain. Just call me a boomer in the comments, please. Um, so I was just thinking about, like, music, like today's music versus, like, the music of yesterday. And it's just kind of funny because it's, like, you have, like, all of this, uh, like, here, here's a good juxtaposition. Like, for example, um, there's a song that was popular back in the day, and it made it onto the radio called um, Take Some Time by Jimmy Eat World. And basically, it's just, like, the song, and, and I'll go over the lyrics with you, but he says, it's it, these are, like, the songs that kids are hearing, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, it just takes some time, little girl, you're in the middle of the ride everything's gonna be just fine you know like real reassuring and whatnot saying like you know everything will be all right he even says in the beginning he's like hey don't count yourself out yet it's only in your head to feel left out or look down on you know what i'm saying basically like letting people know that like it's okay to feel a certain way like like you know when you're young like that you'd think like oh you know there's something wrong with me for feeling this way but yet he's letting you know like hey there's nothing wrong with the situation that you're in right now it's just part of life you know and letting them kind of get in touch with their emotions um and but then like nowadays like i hear these kids passing by and they're like bumping songs and it's like ladies pop yo pussy like this <laughs> or there's the one that's like yeah bad bitch i could something sent them in and it's like i'm gonna let him hit it off the hennessy i'm like that's just like that's just like a recipe for <laughs> i don't even want to say what it's a recipe for youtube wouldn't allow that damn look at the catch you guys have never seen an aerial catch like that golly g golly g mcginnis or whatever golly g mcginnis or whatever you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm on one today sheesh but yeah, so I guess it just kind of depends. Like, obviously, music's gonna change with the generation. I know, like now, it's more about um, it's more about the sound of it, like the feel of the music, rather than just like rather than just like only the lyrics. But it is kind of sad because I feel like those older lyrics really connected with the younger generation. They really like gave them something to like strive for, or something to like feel better about. Like that music was like connecting with them and i feel like in the modern day like the music just doesn't do the same things you know what i'm saying so it's kind of misfortunate but um not that it really matters all that much there was music like that back then too so who am i to judge good lord did you hear that Ugh. let's assess the damage oh daylin oh daylin from machine wise you are a real one for that. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm really just done rambling for today, so I'm going to have to say rock on.